Alright, welcome back to the shack. Uh, I know a lot of you have watched my video on how to get the places for Parks on the Air into Google Maps and then how you can get directions to them and all that. Uh, I will link that video in the description below. Um, the issue is, is that recently the hold on parks has been lifted. And so a lot of states have started putting parks into their program, into the different states. And so some of you have been asking, how do we go about updating those maps? And I'm here to show you that. All right, so here we are in our Google Maps. And if you remember, you go to Saved and then Maps. And these are all the maps that I have made. We're going to look at call area four, call region four, specifically this time, because there are some things I want you to notice. First of all, uh, this says I've activated my activation one time. And also up here, this is an area where they put a new park. And so I want you to see what it looks like now so that that way when we get done, you'll see that we have uh, got it all figured out. So we open in my maps and it'll open up another tab. And what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to turn this off. It gets it a little bit easier for us to see what I'm specifically working on. Just turning everything off except for South Carolina. Zoom in here a little bit. And you click on this layer option. And then re-import and merge data. So you will then re-import and replace all items. Click on that. It's going to say, okay, well, uh, what file do you want to do? So you'll have to go to the Parks on the Air website. Make sure you are signed in. And then go to Park List. Select the location. Down to the United States and pick South Carolina. And then you will see this download. Now, I messed up earlier. I wasn't signed in. And because I wasn't signed in, I didn't get the download. So make sure you're signed in and then you can get the download. So you're gonna download it as a CSV file. And <laughs> I just remembered that's the second one I downloaded. But anyways, go back here, we're gonna browse for it. It should go, all right, goes to my downloads file. I'm gonna choose, I'll choose the one that I just downloaded and upload that into it. So now here we are, it automatically updates, populates, uh, and now here is Colonial Dorchester. Now it's at three activations because I was down there. The style is a little bit different, so I need to change that into my red. And there we go. So there, that one is done. And up here, we now have this new K10414. And... And that's it. I mean, uh, all the rest, it's just single. There's only one there of each. Got 159 different parks. And that's all you have to do. So you can then close out, go back out, reopen it. And when it reloads, it will reload the way it should. Where's my three activations? And there is one of the new parks in South Carolina. And that's it. So there you go. It's that simple. Uh, hope you guys have fun with it. Shouldn't be too difficult it, unless, like I showed you, I had, uh, I had some special symbols in there. If you didn't change your special symbols or anything like that, then it'll be real easy for you. You won't even have to do uh, 
make those changes like I did. But there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I've got about three different videos in the kitty still being worked on. So I hope to get those rolled out to you maybe in the next couple months. Um, remember, I'm not a YouTuber. I just do this for fun. So till next time, guys, uh, stay safe out there. Have fun. Uh, W8NI73.